All right, it is Monday, March the 8th, I believe, and 2021, pretty crazy. And tonight we're going to be talking all about uh, how to invite. And this is a really fun topic because um, we're actually going to do a little bit of actual inviting tonight, and it's going to be similar to Power Hour. Uh, but before we do that, I want to I want to give my mom an opportunity to kind of give some mindset behind this because she's really good at this. And I just asked her today if she would talk. So, mom, hand in the mic oh, over to you. Thanks. Thanks, Bethany. It means a lot that you even um, say that. And of course, I know my my weaknesses and my faults, as we all do. You know, we we're kind of our own um the critic of ourselves most of all but i i thought tonight it would be really cool to talk about how much um contribution plays a role in our um in our organic sharing uh, because i know that before i had a fl a switch that flipped for me i had huge hesitancy in reaching out and i had huge he he i i could see why bethany would do well at this business and i and i had all the reasons and i'm using myself as an example hopefully so that we can kind of get on the same page if you find yourself looking on at other people who share so easily and you're thinking to yourself it's about their personality or their um skill sets that they've had previously or i could just i could just run the gamut I want to interject just a thought tonight, if you would be with me to open your mind to the possibility that that is not the limiting, that is the not the limiting thing. The limiting, the biggest limitation is not understanding that we are being contributors and bringing something important and of value to the person that we're, we're talking to. So, um, Bethany, can you tell me again what the name of this class is? Yeah, we're talking about basically the overall is how to invite without being weird. Okay, that's what I thought. I was just like, yeah. all of a sudden I had this like, yeah, <laughs> I'm on the right topic, right? No, because the reason it's weird is when we have our interests at the forefront of the conversation and therefore there's a barrier and there's an actual barrier that we see. We don't know if they see it or not, but that it, we we assume they might get the gist that we're having a conversation because we want to get something. And then we'll have a barrier about that because we're not designed to work that way. It, you know, that is not effortless and that is not easy. That is hard. It is hard to make yourself do something because you just want to get something. But everything gets turned on its head when we kind of take a step back and realize tapping into the gifts that we've been given. Uh, and that could just be as simple as you could, you could be a part of a contributing, thriving, business building, per, you business building with one thing, one. So you don't have to know the comp plan. You don't have to have a starter kit. You do not have to have all the CBD products. You don't have to know all about the thieves cleaner. Those things are that that is just another story that we're telling ourselves that we have to have this before we're going to feel ready to share, right? So the exercise tonight, honestly, what I wanted to bring is just to, to kind of do an audit um, and to audit yourself the last few conversations. I'm assuming that you are having conversations. Audit yourself on the ease in which you are contributing to the people that you're talking to. Because if you're contributing, there's a fire and a light and a I have to, they've got to hear about this. This is going to be revolutionary. Uh, I'm going to, uh, the mom at night, her baby is crying and teething. Oh my gosh, she has got to hear about Copaiba. And that driving force, that proaction with that energy, it's the ticket. It is the ticket to, to no hesitation on your part because it's a win-win you're going to be it's going to come back to you it's not that you're not going to gain something from it it's just that that's not the focus and in the conversation of today you're thinking already ahead two weeks from now i know how she's gonna she's gonna be so jazzed about this she's gonna want to tell all her mom friends you're thinking about that you're not thinking about i wonder what she thinks about me i mean that is super self-serving if we're so hung up on what people think about us that is the audit that i am that i am asking us to do tonight together and and to do the hard work to drill back down into why and how you're contributing so let's talk a little bit about verbiage bethany is this the time to do that 
Okay, so I'm a huge fan of um, the energy of the voice. I'm a huge fan of if you have access by way of a text or direct message or um, Facebook messenger, if you can leave a voice message for someone for, for example, tonight, you know, we're going to learn about who is the winner of the thieves household cleaner. We did a big promotion on Wednesday night at power hour for those of you who are part of that. And tonight we're going to find out who won that those. So let's say you had someone that you've been talking to about thieves and maybe they are not the winner for tonight and you're, you want to keep the dialogue going because you know, they have interest in thieves household cleaner they commented on your post i would love to win this or pick me so the way that you the way that you enter the conversation always i mean i mean i can just speak uh, personally that if i'm thinking i'm wanting to help them i know what they're going to gain from this then my whole my whole reach out is not about do me do me a favor it's it's no hey girl or hey friend hey dear however you speak to the person in front of you i could not let this night pass without letting you know I found out who is the winner of the thieves cleaner. I wish it was you. If this is assuming it's not them, I wish it was you. It wasn't you, but let's chat a little bit about thieves cleaner. As a matter of fact, tonight we have a class. It's a Zoom class, it's gonna be super fast. I'm gonna send you the link, or would you prefer the replay? And let pause and let let them enter back in with you. Um, I actually bought. Um, let me show it to you. Hang on a second. Just so you know, this is an option for you. You can buy thieves um, packet, cleaner packets in from Young Living ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is reach out to the people who did not win on my post and say, I'm sorry you weren't the winner, but I would love to send you a, a, you know, a little packet that's gonna make 16 ounces of cleaner so you can try it. So, um, you could even do that too. Even if you don't have it yet, you could put it on your order. And by the time you could even tell them, hey, I'm gonna order that tonight and I'm gonna send it to you as soon as it comes in. So even though you weren't the winner of the big bottle, you're gonna to get to try this. That would be my suggestion. Does that cover it, Bethany? I don't know if I'm frozen or you're frozen. Okay, let's see. Bethany, are you still there? Are you there, Bethany? Sorry, uh, my internet is not working. So I've been out for the last minute or two. Oh, I'm so oh, sorry. I was, I was turning it back over to you um, and, and I didn't I didn't hear you. So. I was just saying that these little packets come in handy, the same thing that's in the starter kit. And you can give them as a gift to the people who wanted to try it and didn't win. Okay, that's all I had, Bethany. Take it. I love that. You guys. Okay, awesome. I'm really concerned about my internet right now because it's just really glitchy. Um, I've texted Eli and said, please get off Wi-Fi. I don't know if he got my text, but, um, or I didn't actually say that. Okay, it's not unplugged. I said, is it unplugged? It's not unplugged. So am I pretty glitchy for you guys right now? You're actually still, you're actually good for me. Okay, cool. All right, well, so what we're gonna do for the next 10 minutes is I'm gonna break us out into breakout rooms. I want you to pretend like it's power hour and go through, if you were on power hour and you did do that post, go through and identify who on that post is not a Young Living member and start a conversation with them and let them know they didn't win. If they did win, let them know they did win, okay? So this is the time to start having those conversations. If you did not, I'll type who won in here in the comments in just a second. If you did not do that post, then I want you to consider reading the, the post and consider doing a post like that yourself. You can search hashtag cleaning with OQ to see the post. If you're willing to give away a thieves bottle for yourself, you could consider doing that and, and have the comments. Okay. So here I'm going to put in the, in the comments who won because they're Instagram handles. So they won't make sense if I just read them. So they're going to go in the, in the com in the chat section here on zoom. So, um, let me go ahead and do that right now. see here 
of the winners. Hey, while you're working on that, let's see if anybody has a question about reaching out in this way. Perfect. Does anybody have a have a scenario or a question about that would just help you to brainstorm together? And Bethany, are we supposed to be looking at these and know them if they actually are somebody that um, I'm going to reach out to them personally oh, on Instagram? Okay. I'm going to be shipping them. So you guys.